Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. During this short demonstration, we will see how to assess the aortic root dimensions using three dimensional transesophageal paradiography using QLab software. We will see how to measure the aortic annulus by 3D TAE, how to measure the distance from the aortic annulus to the left main coronary artery. Using this volume, as you can see, this is taken by, it can be taken by 3D zoom or by full volume, including the aortic root and uh, part of the ascending aorta in order to get full dimensions we want. We will start by clicking 3D quantification. As you all know, the screen will be uh, subdivided into four small squares, the green square or the green box, red box, blue box, and three-dimensional box, which will show you the planes at which you are cutting. Okay, we will just align our images. As you can see, we need to see long axis view at one box and short axis view at the other uh, box, either red uh, box or green box. And uh, the blue box, we will align the lines now to just uh, take another long axis view for the aortic root and then uh, we should choose the systolic frame as this one we can magnify in order to make the dimensions more clear and to decrease the error as you can see now I have a long axis view for uh, the LBOT aortic valve sinuses sinusoidal junction ascending aorta and here's a short axis view and here's another long axis view of uh, the LBOT aortic valve ascending aorta I just need to align my lines to be horizontal as much as I can okay so by moving uh, the lines here the green line the green box image will change as you can see and by moving the blue line up and down the image in the blue box down is changing as you can see I have two types of motion for each line if I move the body of the line itself it will move from side to side only if I went to the periphery of the line it will be rotation as you can see so now I am a systolic frame I will just move this line up and down this is during systole so I will go back to the LBOT look to this image I can see the leaflets are ending again back to the mid of the leaflets here and then back to the LBOT leaflets are ending so at the last point that I can see the basis of the leaflets this should be the annulus on unfast view from this view I can use the software to measure distances either maximum and minimum as you can see here or even I can use the area tracing method to trace it so now I have endless dimension by a very good accuracy on fast view delete all if I move down a little bit this is the LBOT I can also trace this to get the area and use this uh, and, and I can use this area during calculation of the uh, stroke volume in continuity equation and so on by moving this line upwards as you can see I will just meet the left main ostium first in this green box this is the left main ostium as we all know the left main ostium is usually at lower origin than the RCA so if I am moving from the annulus upwards in the sinuses now I'm facing the left main ostium at this level so if I need to measure the distance from the annulus to the left main I will use now the blue line by rotation I will get it from the end and just rotate it till I cut the left main ostium look at the image here 
this is the annulus and this is the ostium of the left main look look at the image down again if I move this line away from the left main I can't see the left main origin here just moving this line towards the left main I opened the left main ostium here so I have a very clear view for the annulus together with the left main and I can measure the distance from the annulus to the ostium of the left main which is here about 14.8 millimeters this distance is very crucial for uh, patients undergoing TAVI for example by more motion towards the sinotubular junction as you can see the ostium of the right coronary artery is clear here now so I can do the same thing just to rotation to cut on the uh, ostium of the right coronary artery and I can get it here so here is the distance from the ostium from the annulus here is the distance from the annulus of the aortic valve to the right coronary artery I can again measure this to the ostium of the right coronary artery and they have a distance about 17 millimeters which is uh, logic because the right coronary artery ostium is uh, at a higher level than the left coronary artery thank you